Vigilo Confido, and welcome back to Character Select. Um, it has been a couple of weeks since I've played, and I've got to remember what it is that I am doing, which I kind of remember, but I need to double check some stuff. So let's just let's just review what we got. So if we finish Gang Warfare, we get a Gorilla Op, which is great. Doesn't say what it does, but that's fine. Oh my god, these people need to shut the fuck up. <clears throat> is time... time is advancing. Damn. Okay, so that means that... That dark event is active. Which just means that I really need to figure out what they're gonna be... Or which chosen is going to be showing up because I have the ability to counter these guys. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not too worried about that. But We're I basically returning. I return appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. I could build another power relay here, but I don't want to use the supplies yet. So we're clearing alien debris there. That gives us a lot of alien alloys. Hmm. It's just supplies. That gives us a lot of supplies, actually. It's kind of a bigger deal. <clears throat> we're building the skull jack, right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm stuck in build mode. Um, let's send John Bain here. Covert action duration minus 33%. That's not bad. That shaves a day off the, the covert action that we got going. So that's pretty good. Uh, Stun Lancer Optopsy is five fucking days. Jesus Christ. Um, what else do we got? A supply drop in six days. So there's a couple of things that I have to do. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I just ate and I got cheese stuck in my throat. It's pretty bad. So there's a couple of things that we have to do. First and foremost, we have to take this out because we're already at six Avatar Project points. And even though I can get up to 24, I'm going to say that if I get above 12, I'm kind of fucking it up. I don't want to be fucking it up. So the other thing that we have to do is at some point we have to build a, um, a radar antenna so that we can get machine learning. Which is actually going to slow down our, our research. Wait. Research breakthroughs are twice as likely, not, uh, okay. Um, do I not have anybody work in the proving ground? Motherfucker. I am just messing all kinds of shit up here, aren't I? Okay, so, uh, experimental heavy weapons not useful right now. Experimental grenades can be. Experimental ammo absolutely is. Especially if we get lucky and get... Uh... So here's the deal with, with um, foundry projects. Foundry projects for experimental stuff give you a chance to get a specific type of ammo. There's like five or seven or eight, something like that. Uh, different ammo, different grenades, different heavy weapons that you can get. Heavy weapons aren't going to help us right now because you need level 2 armor to get those at least. Um, <clears throat> I do want this one. Um, the experimental ammo, uh, every experimental thing that you can get is useful in one way or another. The most useful ammo that I've found is blue screen rounds, which do like 100% extra damage to robotic enemies. Um which are were finished, Commander. fucking great. But, okay, so we've got that. We don't need the power relay staff. We have six wounded people? Holy shit. Most of them will be available in a few days. <clears throat> so that's not bad. We do have mocks ready. Dragonova we really need ready soon. Advent's got their propaganda machine working overtime. We're still seeing a steady flow of migrants. Remy's on covert. I'm not sure they have to do all that much convincing at this point. And I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and the cure for the common cold. Well, maybe not. But what about the terminally ill, the elderly, or the disabled? The aliens can offer them something we can't. Something most people would trade anything for. You're wrong about that, Doctor. We can offer them freedom. Even if it means they have to endure the pains of being human. I just hope they see it that way. 
Yeah, it's kind of the problem with kind of, uh, running any any uh, covert action. Got to convince the people that you're working Tactical for. Mission site located. Okay. Gang clean controls some of them establish a stronghold. Shit. Under advent only leadership, that might not be that bad. <clears throat> The problem is, I don't have Dragonova. But it does counter the Hunt XCOM thing. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this. Advent troops are greatly increased in size. So, it's almost guaranteed that the Assassin's gonna show up. <sighs> Shit. Setting course for Let's do it. 12, East Africa. Motherfucker! Commander, remote reconnaissance indicates the aliens have a UFO hunting for our position. We need to be careful about where we pick our flight paths. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards <sighs> our current objective. That's actually not a bad idea. This is a good chance to use the Skulljack. Maybe? Not you, though. Um... So we got mag rifles, mag rifles, sniper rifle. Cool, cool, cool. Um, see, the problem with not playing this game for a while is that I forget what abilities everybody has. <clears throat> We've already got a scope on there. Oh my god, I have a lot of shit. Woo! Okay. What are your abilities? You are mostly combat-oriented. Does that mean that Kylan... ...has medical protocol? Cool. So that makes that a bit easier. Med kit. Okay, so here's the fun thing that you can do with weapon upgrades. Um, sniper rifle, three shots and then you gotta reload. I can make it so that I reload for free twice, which means nine shots before I have to actually reload. Or I can just make it so that I carry four rounds in the clip. Miss shots do damage is great, but the advanced stocks are better. 15% um, chance kill your target when you hit them, regardless of the target's remaining HP. That's pretty cool, and it looks fucking badass on the sniper rifle. I'm gonna go with the advanced autoloader, though. So I've already got... Yeah, that's good. Alright. You have a shotgun. So I'm gonna give you a repeater, because the ability to actually kill a target instantly is amazing. I can't upgrade your gauntlets though, can I? Nope. I can, however, give you this. Wait, no, you're not on this mission. See, you're tired. Get out of here. <clears throat> oh, she's literally just seconds away. I need that. Um, uh, shit, I need... Uh, get out of here. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hmm. I just... I, I have a thing that I want to do, and I just don't remember what it is all of a sudden. Battle scanner's not that bad. Mine shield is kind of okay. I can make Gauss rifles. Why have I not made these yet? Ding. Fucking ding. Fucking ding. Oh, thank God I did that. Jesus Christ. I wish we had a simulator for Bradford to practice on. 
If he crashes this ship, what the I fuck did I want to do? Advent myself. I am still hard at work on the current research project, <clears throat> Commander. All right. I just need Dragonova back up. That's all I need. Where is my fast fucking forward button? Come on, give me fucking Dragonova back. Because I got, I, I'm gonna face off against the freaking, the freaking uh, chosen. I need to fucking do it. Ooh. Oh, but it doesn't tell me what it does. I know Intel is low. If I, there's the UFO. Shit. <laughs> That's bad. Um, okay. I don't want to miss this opportunity, even though it doesn't counter the dark event anymore. It form. still might. It's entirely possible. But I literally just need Dragonova to come back. Market is open. I can't afford anything. You want troopers? I got troopers. I'm keeping the purifiers, though. Whoops. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. All assault rifles now deal plus one damage. Increased cohesion negates soldier wounded. Will is increased by four. Nice. And Epic Beard in Progress is now a squatty. Need to assign a new covert action. Okay. So I can continue to hunt the Chosen Assassin, which requires a lieutenant, so I can't do that. Fuck. I can gather intel, though. That's actually a good one. <clears throat> Send you. Soldier reward health plus one is pretty fucking great for a ranger, so we will send Hedra. And we will send Brickley Lawson, which negates any risk, gives us a lot of influence, and gives us not some some not terrible intel. That's more than we would get just scanning. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Okay, I do have Epic Beard in progress to upgrade. Promote soldier. You are now. What are you going to be? I'll make you a blade master. Do need to get the upgraded swords. Come on, man. Just give me back drag a fucking Nova. Oh, she's ready. Sweet. Okay, we can go on the mission. Yes. Setting course for the East African mm. sector. It's not super important that I have Dragonova Dragon because the... Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the project <coughs> to good use. Yeah, she's already there. Alright. So check this shit out. Look at that fucking mag weapon. It is delightful. Uh, yes. Give me the... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna give... You have seven. You have seven. Six, seven, seven. There it is. Okay, but I do need to... <clears throat> I absolutely need to get the skull jack. Uh, wait, but not on you. I keep forgetting that. So the thing about the skull jack is that it doesn't do it yet. I'm working on skull mining to actually get it. Um, but it does eventually give you the option to, god damn it, to, to uh, increase your hacking abilities, which is great, um, but does have some drawbacks. Does take up an inventory slot. No, fucking, thank you. <clears throat> All right. So everybody has mag weaponry. Excellent. Everybody's going to die. Bad. Is 
So this is going to be a difficult mission all of a sudden. It was listed as moderate, and now it's difficult, so I'm not sure why. Wondering if it's because of the people that I chose, but it's not. Can you... We can upgrade your weapon. We will give you an expanded magazine. Okay, so this is the Temnotic Rifle. Uh, I've never seen it before. It looks pretty cool. Looks basically like they just strapped some mag, mag accelerators on her gun. Um, which is cool. The Mag Cannon, on the other hand, is a fucking beast. Look at this thing. It's got four barrels. It's got four barrels. And then the Gauss Rifle looks like a really crazy sniper rifle. Like, kind of a futuristic-y sniper rifle. Um... But it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, you can see kind of the upgrades, what's been changed. And let's change the uh, clip changes. Magazine. Hedra will kill me if I say clip again. All right, we're going to try this. So if I can successfully finish this mission, I get a shit ton of supplies, which is great. More importantly, I can get experience for my troopers, which is better. If I fail the mission, I don't can counter the dark event because it's already count, uh, active. I don't know if you can counter it after it's active. It's never come up. We lost contact with the squad shortly there. So we'll see what how that works. The data fragment tied to the aliens latest operation. We're moving to recover yeah, recovering the data, the data. we got to find the thing and hack it. It's fine. Work before Advent shuts down the connection. Be prepared to neutralize all hostile contacts and secure the area. Recovering that so data is our only shot at stopping their progress. Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. It looks like Advent is throwing every grunt they've got at us, Commander. They're flooding the area with troopers. We need to be ready for a fight. Okay. So, a couple of things that are important to note on this kind of mission. Always, always, always bring a specialist if you have one. Because you have to... We have to basically get to... Ugh, we have to get to this point and hack it. But if you bring a specialist, they can send the gremlin as soon as they can see it. Otherwise, you have to literally be standing next to it. So if you uh, always bring a specialist on these kind of missions, it's just it's it makes so much sense. That's affirmative. Covering now. All right, Dragon Dragonova, I'm going to actually move you way up because you have Reaper, but I'm going to do it slowly because I'm not a moron. Also, the ability for Dragonova, uh, I saw this during the uh, the edits for this particular series. Her ability to tag somebody and then never lose sight of them again is fucking amazing. Holy shit, it's a powerful ability. It doesn't seem like it would be that big a deal in, pra in, like, in theory, but not be losing sight of somebody once they've run away, holy shit, is that useful. You have squad sight, right? Squad sight is the basic? Yeah. And you're a pistolier. Cool. Alright. Can't quite make it over there. I'm gonna have you go over here. Location confirmed. Prepare! Thank god those garbage cans are apparently made out of titanium. How can Dragonova move so fucking fast? Holy shit. I just realized that. On it. Okay. I'm worried about this whole there's a lot of troopers on this mission daily. Not sure if I'm okay with that. As you order, Commander. I will always find you. I found their patrol. The Advent Captain would serve our purposes nicely if it can be disabled. So that's the other thing that I'm hoping to finish on this mission is skulljacking the shit out of some poor fucker. Um, target location. 
Just shoving that knife directly into his face. I'll take a look. <clears throat> Complete immunity from the next two attacks. Eh. So, a failed hack will result in any nearby enemy groups being alerted to your position. Is actually one of the worst things that you can get for a stealth op. So, I'm not even going to bother. Because gaining control of a random enemy for two turns is not helpful. I'll give it a shot. Alright, I need you to sit there. Get your ass set up. Do, 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 do. All right, so I know where the bad guys are, so I need to set up a ambush position. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Let's do this. This is kind of a long way for him to run, but I know that there's nobody around, so I'm not too worried about it. More importantly, I need you much closer. Lamboni. Oh, shit. I forgot to add somebody to the fucking rolls. Fuck. Uh, sorry, as always, if you want to be a soldier, make sure to leave a name and comment down below, etc., etc. Uh... Okay. Are there four of them? No, there's only three. Yeah, see? I can still see them. That is fucking insane. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. I need you to stay on the straight and narrow. I need me to go over Stepping here. Off. And I need you to follow. My turn on watch. I don't want to move up too far because then I'll be in trouble uh, at the risk of getting spotted. I definitely don't want to get spotted. But that's actually a pretty good place to hide right there. I think I'll do that. I'm trying not to be too aggressive because more than anything else right now, I don't want anybody to die. Because the whole exhaustion mechanic is actually kind of important to deal with. Move up there. I don't know how that cactus provides full cover, but not complaining. How many do you see? I only see the officer. So I can skulljack that officer right now. It would be the worst idea. <laughs> you, you can. All right, we're gonna do it. Moving out. All right, these fuckers just aren't moving. Moving out. I'm not sure why they're not moving, but it's kind of annoying to me. Okay, nice thing about Dragonova is she can get a lot closer than anybody else. Like, holy balls, can she get close? Where do I want to send her is the question. Hey, how about over here? I can get there. P -p 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 pincer attack. The Reapers being able to like hide and shit is, is pretty amazing. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. Okay. And then you get to stay. I'm not ready to I'm not ready to be exposed yet. Mostly because I don't have a plan. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of important to have. All right, so these are just regular troopers. Can you actually... Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw a grenade to take out two of those troopers right away. I'm gonna hope that you can take care of this. So here's the problem I have with Skulljack. Targeting with Skulljack, only a 70% chance to hit, ever. Ever. 
You only get to use it once, and if you miss, it counts. Very frustrating. Alright. Need you to get ready. Ooh! Do -do -do. It requires patience. You can't see the thing that you just threw? God damn it. Alright, we're not ready then. Got it covered. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. You can. Okay. And it's a guaranteed hit, which is pretty awesome. It's only going to kill the two troopers, though. But only if revealed. Okay. Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh, shit. I can only do one ambush. Damn it. So I can have Kylan shoot the Claymore and go kaboom boom, or I can have Dave throw the grenade and go kaboom boom. And I think Dave's is going to be more useful because it's going to injure three as opposed to just taking out two. Throwing grenade. <laughs> Multiple hostiles eliminated. Nice. All right. So we're spotted. We're busted. Aw, oh, damn it. I keep forgetting that Dragonova doesn't fucking... Uh... Nice. When Dragonova shoots at the Claymore, she doesn't get revealed. I should have done that. But I think they still would have noticed. I don't know. Could click. One down. Hostile neutralized. Okay. So now, because they don't know Dragonova is here, free fucking shots. Moving as ordered. Like, the fact that she can get this goddamn close and not be seen is hilarious to me. What the fuck came out of that gun? Oh, she got seen. The shadows fail us. Only a 58% chance to hit, so... Yeah, okay. okay. This is a stupid way to do this, but I'll take it. Does increase my, <laughs> my to hit chance by about 17%. Uh, which apparently was enough. So yes, I just ambushed and killed six people at once. That's amazing. I don't even care about the fact that they were just regular troopers and an officer. Position confirmed. I did waste a claymore, though. That sucks. I'm not used to using those things. If I move you there, will you... It doesn't say... Moving out. Still can't see it. All right. Da, da, da. Oh my god, did I kill them without actually blowing up the civilians? Thank god for that. I didn't even know the civilians yeah, were there. Moving. Please don't see a new pod. Cool. Okay. On my way. Two. On Overwatch. Need at least one person on Overwatch. So we're doing a lot of movement right now. Running. And then Dragonova, I'm wondering if I should actually put her back into to stealth. Honestly, I could just have her go here and do this, but I don't think her hack skill is all that great. So I'm going to have her move up. Volk says I am to obey. Yeah, Volk's right. 
Have you seen how badass I am? I've only lost one soldier so far. Alright, so there's still dudes out here, and I can tell because my turn did not end immediately. Infiltrating access point. Do 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 do. So these hacks are important because no matter whether you win or lose, you always succeed at the, the guaranteed option, which is what you need. So there is no harm in ever trying for the large one unless you absolutely need to get whatever it is. I didn't get it. It's fine. I'm getting 160 freaking supplies from this mission anyway, so. Piece of cake. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. The problem is I have to find the remaining hostiles in the area, which I'm assuming are kind of over in this area, but nobody's showing up. Got it covered. I definitely want to keep my snipers high because they got to smoke that weed, man. <laughs> yeah. No, because um, they definitely get a better chance to, to murder some bitches when they are high. Time. <coughs> Excuse me. So one important thing to note about modifying weapons is that My turn on watch. it sometimes seems like modifying weapons is a terrible idea because if the soldier dies, you lose the weapon. As long nice shot. As long as the weapon is unique, as in you named it, you can assign that to somebody else. As long as you succeed in the mission where they died. I know where you are. Yeah, you can't fucking hide from me. Are these the last guys? Oh, shit! And that's an officer! Fuck yes! That's a bad idea. Good idea. <clears throat> so, kill these guys, leave the officer alive. Which is gonna be tough because I want what he dropped. But I will take what I can get. Good copy. Moving on target. Smash. Wow. That was a coin toss and you nailed it. Nice. All right. Hunker down. So I know what happens when you skulljack an officer. It is bad news. I think I mentioned it in another episode. Um, but the trick is I don't want to kill the officer and he's definitely going to move. So the key is to make sure that nobody is on Overwatch. Because if they're on Overwatch, then I can't take care of them. Uh-oh. I forgot that he had returned fire. Nice shot, though. Shit. He's too far away for me to get him. Shit. I'm going to lose the item, too. That's not the bad. That's not the worst. Okay. So, much like chess, I'm going to threaten... Have you hunker down? Got it covered. So no matter what happens, he can't kill one of my soldiers because they only do like four damage. I need you to get the hell out of here, though, so he doesn't shoot at you again. Because <laughs> if he returns fire again, I lose. Hunker. And oh, god damn it! I could have just done this. Catch. It is not necessarily the optimal solution, but it definitely does mean that he probably won't hurt anybody. Case in point. I know. All 
All right, and now the most important thing is that I have three people in position to kill this guy if the Skulljack misses. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> we have complete access to the Advent Psionic Network. I have dedicated our systems to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. Almost no chance for that to succeed. You almost always want to have a Skulljack on a specialist if they have the inventory for it, because it is so much better. Uh, I don't know what you're doing over there, but here's the deal. We're not done. That's a codex. Commander, that appears to be the codex responsible for safeguarding the alien data store. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. Codexes fucking suck. Oh, oh, yes, yes, flanking, okay. flanking. Nope, thank you. So if you successfully hit a codex, which is not a guarantee because they have very fucking high dodge ratings. Now, oh, shit, you're empty? Fuck. I don't know why that opened, that's weird. Uh, but yeah, if you manage to hit a codex, which is definitely not a guarantee, then uh, it gives you, then the codex decides to split, turn into a second codex. Both of them are just as strong, and they do more da and uh, they have less HP, but they still do a lot of fucking damage. In fact, they do so much damage. At this point, it's almost not worth it for me to actually attack. I am the hunter. Yes, you are. I will reposition. Because if I have them attack, then comes naturally. Uh, the codex will split, and that's bad for me. Oh, and they can teleport. Did I forget to mention that? They can just fucking teleport. State of flux, existing simultaneously across multiple dimensions. Oh, and they can do that, which is utter bullshit. The only way to fix that is to reload your gun. Even if you step out of the area of effect. You need to reload. Closing on target position now. I completely forgot that they can disable weapons. Shit. It has been a while since I fought one of these things. I could slash it, but it doesn't do much damage. Hate protocol. Alright, need you to back off. Uh, literally nothing I can do that won't be more helpful than just sitting there and reloading. Or overwatching. Um, I don't want to get near the car because it's probably likely to explode. Shit. Oh, and they do a lot of damage. If I didn't mention that already, they, they, they hurt. Ooh, there's a good spot. Good to go. Thought that was a better spot than it was. All right, draggy drag. I need you to. Got two shots left. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have you move right there and Overwatch. Oh yeah, and then it explodes, which hurts. Shit, that's a flanking shot. Ooh. Excuse me. On the margins. Clone. I now have two to deal with. I have never seen 
anything like this. Oh, the and the clone gets a freaking action. Copies of itself into our dimension. Wow, you don't see anybody from there? Affirmative, moving out. The I'm only ready. good news about clone is that um, it does have the amount of HP that the the codex has. Ooh, okay. No place for you to go now. Yeah, fuck it up. Don't miss. Do more damage. Nice. So if they can't clone, they teleport. That's right, assault rifles have plus one damage. This isn't a really good chance to hit, but I don't think teleport activates Overwatch. I got nothing. Really? You don't see anything from there? But they're right the fuck there. God damn it. That might actually be an okay thing, because you're badly injured. On Overwatch. Okay. Not gonna take him out this turn. Gotta get moving. Got a motor. No need to ask twice. If I can get close enough, I can take him out with a grenade. Fuck. I'm badly wounded here. Shit. Yep. They spotted Dragonova. That means. Yes! Not sure where the Josh, fuck it went, but hey, whatever. Alright, one left. I've taken some serious injuries, but there's only one left. Not a good enough chance. Uh, Dragonova. You can't do enough damage to kill. Shit. Unless you can get a flanking position, but I don't think you can from where you are for some reason. Literally two spots away. Damn. I will reposition. I had it Kylan out of there and healed. Fuck, 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 fuck. Good chance. Teleport somewhere more vulnerable. Or fucking no clone yourself. The Great. Oh, I was really not expecting that to clone. Can you? That'd be a bad idea. Damn it. Ah, uh, this is all kinds of bad news. Um, you can sprint over there, but then... Ooh. Wait, which one will you see there? That one way over there, huh? Your chances of hitting are even less likely than Kylan's. Oh. Wait. Okay. Got an idea. You're kind of the problem, aren't you? Get ready for a surprise. Get ready for a surprise. Boom. No, you know what? Good copy. Moving on target. But I need more than anything else. Scanning. 
is Overwatch at the moment. Oh, shit. Kylan really can't get anywhere. I mean, he can heal himself, but if he gets critical, he's done. And there's nowhere really safe for him to go. Unless. Alright. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping it doesn't teleport and try to take out Kylan. Oh boy. Wait. I mean, it's going to be with a pistol. It's almost guaranteed to miss. But I only need one damage. Oh, thank God. Whew. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Excellent work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left oh, behind. Oh, man. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the alien's ongoing plans. So I got super lucky with that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um... I got super lucky with that because I had two characters take critical hits that didn't kill them. That got them to freaking one HP. That's super lucky. Standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. Shut up. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. 25 days. 27 days. Oh my god. I, I'm, I really like Blade Master. Phantom is nice in certain circumstances, but Blade Master is always good. Uh, Shredder. And what can you learn? Wow. Wow. Plus three damage has plus one radius. That's actually really good. <laughs> nice. Shots taken in shadow of plus two armor piercing. Ooh, whoa, that is really expensive. I like needle. Armor piercing is Command, pretty awesome. Please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the Codex brain. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. All of that and the fucking Chosen never showed up. God damn it. Hello, Commander. Hey, and we reduced Avatar progress by one. Nice. New objective added. Okay. The aliens are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. You're going to have to explain to me what a fear of panic means. As if the aliens didn't have enough annoying spokespeople, now we have these chosen running around, lecturing Chance to panic when a squad mate panics. Oh god, it's the Door Fortress Tantrum Spiral. <laughs> Build a training center to use ability points. I will do that. I need to clear debris. Shit. Okay, so it says that it countered uh, Hunt XCOM, but it didn't, so. So yes, destroying the, av uh, the Codex the first time reduces Avatar Project by one. ...of some importance to the aliens, Commander. Let us hope that the recovered remains prove equally important to our own efforts. Okay. You have destroyed a vessel of the Elder's wisdom. And with it comes your opportunity at understanding the knowledge it contained. Cry me a fucking river. Okay. I'm hoping... I'm, I'm trying to figure out if rookies, resistance contacts... I'm not actually concerned about supplies. I have a lot of goddamn supplies. All things considered. That is our covert op. I'm going to go for rookies. I'm going to try and get some more people on the roster here just so that we have, you know, enough people for covert actions and, and such. 
I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Although Advent clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city centers, it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. If the Lancers were among the first Advent forces deployed and their survivability is somewhat higher than that of the standard trooper, did the aliens consciously reduce the trooper's strength based on their assessment of human combat readiness? This would imply a system of rapid genetic modification beyond what I had previously imagined the aliens were capable of. It also demonstrated a degree of genetic frugality that I would that I would have previously assumed was irrelevant to the aliens based on the variety of unusual experiments they've conducted. Ionic Ripjack! Uh, raw electrical current jumps between the blades. Although the mechanism seems reasonably well crafted, inconsistencies in the skirmisher manufacturing process leave questions as to whether this was an intentionally designed upgrade or an accidental discovery. Arc blade. When did I do that? Oh. Okay. Oh shit! Alien encryption is inspired and would only be done ten days. That's actually really good, <laughs> but I don't want to do it. <laughs> I was Go. not going to admit it to Shen, but there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment: those damn juicy Advent burgers. Mmm, Advent know burgers. Where they get the meat, and frankly, I do not want to know. I am ready to begin on your I... work. This is important. But we won't be able to exploit it right away, so I'm not worried about that. I agree. I want plated armor. Task, plated armor is very important. He's still got a fear of stun lancers. Okay. More importantly, Any though, orders, Commander? I need to build items, weapons. It's 60 supplies and 10 alien alloys, and we're actually running low on alloys, but so worth it. And I mean, this gives us more damage, so mine as well. Having never stepped foot in one of the city centers, I've never actually had one of these advent burgers I keep hearing rumors about. No one really seems to be asking the hard questions either. Like, when was the last time you even saw a cow? Creepy. Thanks for making me doubt the frickin' consistency of burgers. You, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens. Okay, so it's still happy. Month, Commander. The nice I thing about this game is that, unlike XCOM 1, to further success. where continually getting bad grades basically results in the game, in you losing the game, in this game, they're like, yeah, you're kind of our only hope, so you can do whatever the fuck you want. Shit. The elders have blessed me. No, empowered me. I am stronger than ever. And I will Damn. fail them. Okay. Reducing retaliation counter by two weeks, which isn't that bad. It just means that retaliation comes up sooner. Making it harder for XCOM to catch them unaware, which means that their uh, radius for detecting is higher. And I can't do this because I only have 20 intel. New alien construction facility imminent. Alien facility construction imminent. Hey, look at this shit. Now I can get two. Nice. Um, double the ability points gained in combat. Gain additional two power on the adventure. All knowledge gained by the Chosen is reduced by 33%. Cool. Tech defense of all enemies and hack targets is lowered by 20. That's great. Plus two resistance contacts, which is going to go right there. Any XCOM shot that hits the Lost is an instant headshot kill. I'm going to go with... Uh, shit. I can't. Fuck. I'll go with that. Need to raise influence for the Skirmishers and the Templars in order to get the rest of these. Consider it done, Commander. Yep, Avengers need those supplies. <laughs> Cool. So let's build the training center. Okay. 
Okay. Skull mining complete. I can't do anything else because I don't have any more Illyrium cores. Which sucks. Does mean that I can get Jesse out of there, though. Uh, I don't need the power relay. I will have you clear out this room. Because it'll take 30 goddamn days, but it'll get me a bunch of alien alloys when and if it finishes. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. <laughs> so we got intel. Cool. Uh, increased cohesion, increased cohesion, health increased by one. Excellent. We have learned new things, new tactics to be used against the Elder Servants. If you would order it, we will make it so. Uh, I do have a lieutenant now. Dragonova is actually a lieutenant and can do this. Increase faction influence. That would be nice. That'd be really nice. Could get somebody wounded, though. Huh. Yeah. We will send Merzendi along with Juke Drog. And Jerome Allen. So there is a chance that somebody will get wounded, but there's no chance that anybody will get ambushed. Um, we can strike it when it's most vulnerable. Cool. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. It's just very important that we actually increase influence because those those orders are fucking lifeline. Uh, Lieutenant James Ashford has recovered from their wounds. The elders would entrust their knowledge within a being so temperamental, so unmoved by our pursuits. I really need to do that, but I'm hoping that I can get plated armor before that becomes a big problem. Commander, that UFO contact has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Setting course for South Africa. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to avoid this. Goddamn plug. Emergency power online. Okay. Someone get me a damage report. We've taken a lot. some sort of spike outside. It's generating the same type of pulse that knocked us out of the sky. They don't want us. They want the ship. Isn't there some way you can override it? Not from here. I can't get our engines online while it's out there. Commander, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Destroying that spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. 
Very true. We're going down, Commander. UFO contact has disabled our systems. Brace yourselves. Commander, we can deploy some of our wounded troops back into combat if you feel it. There are no restrictions to who you can deploy in this mission. Our efforts. We may not have much of a choice if we want to proceed. You have to win this battle. There is no escape. But here's the thing. These are just the first six people you send out. Nope, wrong weapon. If there's one thing I don't want to do, my god, is it ever activate a codex. Okay. Really wishing I had plated armor. Really wishing I had it. I've only ever done this mission once. Primary Avenger systems are offline and hostiles are moving towards the Shen, any updates? Commander, we've got a critical system failure. The Avenger is dead in the water. I'm diverting reserve power to the scanners, and they're picking up a powerful radiation source nearby. We need to locate and destroy whatever it is disrupting our systems. We may have a bigger problem, Commander. We're picking up heavy comm traffic. Dozens of Advent transports are inbound on our position, and they've got battleships in tow. The aliens are sending everything they've got. We have to get the ship off the ground, or we may not make it out of this one. So here's the deal with this mission. We have to make sure that aliens never get to this particular platform right here and send somebody out to go blow this thing up. The only good news is that as time passes, more soldiers will come down the ramp until everybody's out, wounded or otherwise. But until then, we're kind of in trouble. But uh, next time on Character Select, we're going to have to see if we can successfully defend the Avenger. This is a do-or-die mission. I could lose the game here. But hopefully not. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And uh, fingers crossed that this mission goes well. <laughs>